Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom and today I'm going to show you how to implement shaders in GameMaker Studio. I'm using version 1.4.1711, I don't know if that makes a difference at all, because it might change in future versions and it might not be the same in past versions, but let's get started. So I'm starting out with a basic game that will basically show you what's going on, so it's just a, an image, and then when I click it has an explosion with some shaking in. Now the shaking is very simple, it's just we've got this global.shake variable which is always between 0 and 10, so if it goes over 10 it will be set to 10, that's what the clamp does. We also have it um, getting smaller, so we have a divide equals, which basically means if it's bigger than 0 0.1, basically divide itself by 1.1 until it gets to 0 0.1. We also set the view, the x view and the y view positions to a random value between minus shake and positive shake, which is what you just saw. Now, to implement shaders, what we need to do is we need to create a new object. You can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call mine shader controller. In the create event, what we need to do is turn off application surface drawing. The application surface is a surface where all of your objects are drawn onto. And if you don't already know what the application surface is, you will need to read about it, and you also need to read on what surfaces are and how they work. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm going to assume you already know that. So now that I've set that, if I go into the room and add this shader controller object, what will happen is nothing will appear on the screen. As you can see, nothing at all. It's, it's still running in the background, it's just not drawing the application surface. So to fix that, we can go into the shader controller object we created, add an event, go to draw and post draw. In the post draw event, we can draw a surface, uh, which is the application surface. And we want to stick it in positions zero, zero. So the top corner of the window. Now, when I do that, it will appear as it was before, exactly how it was before. Ta-da, everything works. Now, to implement shaders, first we need to create a shader. This tutorial will not show you how to actually create a shader using all the fancy code and stuff. It will just be showing you how to implement it. I can make another tutorial telling you how to write shader code, but be careful as it's not game maker language scripting code. It's it's basically GLSL ES code, which is completely different, which you'll need to read up on as well as surfaces if you don't already know what they are and how they work. So I'm going to call the shader shader simple. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to write a quick shader um, that's just going to swap the red and the blue around or something. So here is my shader code. Um, it's nothing special at all because you can do so many things with shaders. It is unbelievable. So once we've written the shader, we can go back to our post draw. We have the draw surface window that we had before. And basically all we have to do is around this line, we have to put shader set. The name of the shader we just created, which in my case was shader simple. And then afterwards, shader underscore reset. So what that'll do is it will apply the shader and then everything that you draw afterwards will have the shader enabled on top of it. So as you can see the sky is now like an orangey colour rather than blue colour. With the shake variable what you can actually do is pass that into the shader and by doing that we can change the shader depending on certain variables which is actually pretty useful. So to do that basically at the top of your shader you want to put a uniform and then the name of the variable so I'll call mine u for uniform underscore shake and don't forget to give it a variable type so generally you'll be working with floats and vector two threes and fours and which are made up of multiple floats so in the post draw event we can come under the shader set we need to create a variable I'll call it shader params for shader parameters that's what it says in the game maker manual thing. So we want shader get uniform, the name of the shader, so shader simple, the uniform name, in this case it was u underscore shake. Now we can actually set the variables, so shader underscore set uniform f, 
and pass in the variable that we created, so shader params, and the variable that we're passing in, global dot shake. Now this will pass in the shake variable to this variable here, and we can do whatever we'd like with that now. Now remember at the start of the video I told you that the shake variable only stays between 0 and 10? Knowing that, I can I can keep that in mind when, when making my shader. So here I've basically got u shake divided by 10, which makes it a value between 0 and 1, knowing that it will always be between 0 and 10. So what's going to happen with the shader now, depending on the shake variable, the screen will get a lot brighter, but the red, green and blue values will always stay between 0 and 1. And we can test it out now. Look how cool that is. Look how easy it was to implement as well. <laughs> so anyway, if you would like me to go through actual shader code, please let me know. Otherwise, that is how you implement shaders. What I could do is I could show you a shader I previously made. So as you can see, it's like a CCTV effect. We've got... Um, We've got noise around the outside of the screen, and we've got like a a curved screen edge, and it's distorted. And when you click, the screen gets very fuzzy as there's more shake. So that is the sort of thing you can do with shaders. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.